Okay, we'd like to call to order the, the meeting of the Suffolk Cultural Council. It is Thursday, February 16th, 2023. It is 7 11. Do we need to do attendance? Or we can see us, so we don't need to. No, you, yeah, you can still do it. It's okay. Um, Susan Anthony. Bruce Coolis. Steve Brzezinski. Barbara Wilson. Ellen Miles. Our present um, first order, I guess we're going to approve our minutes of the last meeting. Um, we'll go first to the January 19th meeting minutes, which will be easy since we didn't have a meeting. So we're going to just approve those. But we didn't have a meeting. If you want to sign that, pass that up. In your packet is the meeting minutes of Thursday, December 15th. Um, does any, do we need to really read these through or just read them? Yeah, you can just read them. And if you see anything you want to correct, or just make them to that sheet and I'll collect them. Okay. Um, the treasurer's report is as stated, old business, um, Old business to be discussed was the Cultural Council landed second place in the 2022 tree competition. Uh, 2022's tree was sponsored by the Civic Fund and was decorated and presented by the South Dakota Cultural Council members at the Winter Festival at Town Hall. Um, then this is back in December. So the Winter Festival at Town Hall, the tree was removed January 3rd at 4 p.m. Uh, the Grand Cycle 23 of uh, the 2023 applicants for entertainment that were denied have been issued their rejection letters by a mail per Pat McMahon. And the art show date has been set for April 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, 2023, starting with Meet the Artist as day one and art show to follow on day two and three. Further pre planning will take place on January 19th, 2023. Would anybody like to accept the minutes as written or? Or should we accept the minutes? Bruce Poulos makes a motion to accept the minutes as written. Anybody want to second that? I'll second it. Alan Miles has second the motion to accept minutes of December 15th as written. Uh, Treasurer's report, like probably the same as what we have. It is. Back there, Bruce. <laughs> uh, in the state account, we still have 2800 In the local account, nothing has changed. It still remains at $8,357.49. And the town account has remained at 2500 as well. Um, it just kind of kept old business and new business from the January meeting that we didn't have. Pat McMahon is not here. Um, Barbara, were you working on the puzzle contest with Pat or not really? Not really. I told her that I would help if she wanted to help. Uh, there was discussion of having a jigsaw puzzle contest. Um, potentially in February, but here we are in uh, February and we didn't do it. So I think we're going to probably set that aside and maybe um, revisit that for, you know, maybe um, late fall. But I think the thought was when we discussed this back in the spring was that February would be a good time to do it, but um, we ran out of time and we did not have an opportunity to plan that. So we'll, we'll set that aside. We do have to discuss appointments. Um, appointments. Whoa. Cindy Barton, can you help me? You left me that. Oh, yeah, I think it's underneath. No, it's no. Uh, underneath your pack of papers right there. It's at the bottom. There it is. There it is. Um, we need to be have a couple of reappointments. Um, this is to make the Town appointments happy. Um, um, Cindy Barton and I are working on trying to get the town and Mass Cultural Council to kind of jive with our appointments. But in the meantime, Steve needs to go to the clerk's office and get sworn in. 
Maria Gallo also needs to be sworn in and Pauline Thomas needs to be sworn in. These are basically just reappointments on a more yearly basis, even though our state appointments are for three year terms the at this time the town wants us to be sworn in on a yearly basis so we'll we'll jump through the hoop at, at your earliest convenience steve if you can do that i'll be there tomorrow okay um you have if, you, if it's friday you have to call before just because they're closed okay. i'm yeah. closed on fridays How about next week uh, yeah during monday through thursdays are good but <laughs> monday monday though is a holiday monday okay. is president's yeah. day monday the whatever i'll be there 20th. tuesday okay they'll be there <laughs> the essay part of the questions isn't long. It takes only about 30 minutes. Bring three number two pencils and um, maybe a big eraser. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Another old, anybody else have any old or new business to pertain to? Sure. Regarding appointments. Sure. Um, is Pat McMahon. She's not on the, you know, the list here as an active member. We'll have to figure that one out. Right. Um, she should be. Why she isn't, I don't know. Yeah, I. Ellen dug into the town website and, and noticed that there's some appointments that are, well, Cindy and I know that yeah. there are some appointments that are expired on yeah. our town website. I went to the clerk's office and then she gave it to me out of her book. She gave me those names. Okay. Okay, but Karen Dale and um, Laura Zides, you know, they both resigned. Um, Michelle says she didn't get letters from anybody that is still on there. So she just needs a written letter from them saying that they have resigned. They can't just. I think it went to the selectman's office, doesn't it? It sure did. Yeah, I'll, I'll find that. We okay. Have that okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Probably not. But it's it. We have to reconcile some of the town's um, appointments right. with the state appointments, and that's going to take some time. But yeah, you you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't only, is to my knowledge, we have to be sworn in. We're appointed to two consecutive three-year terms, so every six years is really all you need to do. But the town sometimes likes to do some interim to achieve the uh, boxes that they check off. So that's why we're sometimes doubling up on that. Okay. Not that I want to have to, but you know. Are you feeling <laughs> left out? You want to be sworn out? Okay. I can I, do that. I was sworn out an office okay. now. Okay. <laughs> I was on the fire department here for 12 years. So you used to be in sworn out? Oh, every okay. year. Okay. <laughs> Separately in a group. When John Westcott. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, it's a kind of an administrative yeah. uh, shuffle at the moment, trying to get our eyes dotted and T's crossed. But uh, any other old business? Nothing. No, nothing. Yeah. Um, what still comes back from our, you know, I just re re. Uh, redated our agenda from January is the winter festival at the town hall and I do not know where our Christmas tree is it's here I have not seen put hands or eyes on it anybody else we'll find out um Dave Sutton agreed to keep it here probably with the rest of our art show equipment we have all the panels and everything it's, the it's probably out in the shed I asked him to do that but I because we missed the January not sure. I'm not sure but it does exist. I'm sure they wouldn't have crossed it to the curb. Yeah, probably in the shed. It's probably in the shed with our panels. Um, and we will do some some art show planning. I'm just going to come come back to that. Um, the next item on our um, agenda, though, again, is just the up the update on the grant cycle. All of the letters have have gone out. Um, so that was has been taken care of. I haven't heard. We never had any request for um, reconsideration or anything. So we're we're unofficial. We're good. Oh yes, and Ellen did do um, a press release that went out 
um, to Westfield paper, Springfield paper, reminder, reminder, and all those, all those, and this um, Tuesday's paper, Tuesday on Valentine's Day, February fourteenth, um, Westfield paper did actually publish everything that Ellen put in there. So that's basically all of our, you know, all of our grants that we funded for 2023. Thank you, Ellen. Good job. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. And what I will ask Pat McMahon to do, because she's usually very good at that, is she usually puts together like a little you know, agenda, so to speak, of when a lot of these events are going to be so that we can make an uh, effort to attend them if we know when they are. A lot of them did have actual dates. Um, should I bring my... This is, uh, this press release... I had some of the dates that... They um, is also on the uh, Southwick website page. Oh, Maybe okay. Put it up. Oh, good. Along with the art show um, invitation. Oh, he did. Good. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, yeah, a lot of those applicants did have dates. Are they in that, Ellen? The ones that we had, I'm sure. Well, not many. Um, there weren't many dates. They made anyways. reference to maybe a month, but not. Not, not the dates. dates. Okay. So. Um, I will have, I'll ask Pat McMahon to do that if she can't. Um, <laughs> Maybe Cindy in her free time can do that. I did make a statement here. Schedules for these projects will be made available by the hosting organization and publicized on cable channel 50, yeah. Facebook, websites, and local newspapers. There you be. So the next one that I definitely had a date for was here at the Senior Center is March 20th was the Haverston Mills Town Meeting, which was um, the applicant was Steve Henderson. Um, I don't have his... I did not bring the file with all the items, but that's here on March 20th. That I believe is the next one coming up. And then, of course, we have the art show. Um, does anybody have anything to add on the grant cycle portion of our meeting? Thank you. <laughs> then we will move on to our show. Um, I did um, officially secure the dates. Uh, so the show is indeed going to be April uh, 21st, 22nd and 23rd. 22nd and 23rd is the actual show. The Meet the Artist reception is Friday the 21st. Um, and part of our calendar of events, I will pass out to all of you one of these. So this is our calendar of events. Oh, let's see. You probably have these. This was kind of basically the calendar that went on the back side of the you know call to artists for um, yeah. for the art show. So March 8th is when we determined we were going to have the, um, you know, the deadline. And um, is Cindy out there? There's Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Cindy has agreed to, um, oh, well, she has unofficially agreed right. to hold the jury at her house. Um, and I meant to bring a we do not have a calendar here, but we were thinking of Saturday, yes? No. Cindy is on mute, but just officially no. pick the date. You just have to unmute your, it's the first button on the left at the bottom. A little microphone. Okay. Next. I am here. So Cindy, what uh, we were thinking of, uh, Bruce has agreed to be a juror. I did not ask Steve, he could be, and my sister-in-law is also able to, to do it. So if you tell us what Saturday, was it Saturday, Cindy, in March? That we're Oh, 
problem. We're, we're not hearing you, Cindy. Okay. No, no I can. Yeah, we can. We can. Yeah, Saturdays are fine. Good. Saturdays work. Sundays do not. So the available would be either the eleven. Can you or the hear me? Yeah. Yes. Sooner the better. I'm <laughs> are you you hear me a little bit the 11th or the 18th, which is better? She can, can, hold, she can hold up a sign. So, Hi. yes. Saturdays are is it better? Okay. That's up to her. Of March. March, yes. One o'clock? Yep. Oh, so Do that. Do that. Okay, maybe she's going to try and sign back on. All right, so either the 11th or the 18th at one o'clock, and we'll confirm that. Okay, so we got that set. Um. A little vacation at that point. March 8th is a deadline, all right. Yeah, yeah. so that's why the Saturdays between the, the 11th and the 22nd. What no date did you say? The 11th. The 11th. At 1 o'clock. She's not getting the messages either because he's so delayed. Yeah. It's raining. Can you FaceTime her? I don't think I have her phone number. Cindy has her own steps. I can try. <laughs> Cindy, you should hear how it sounds on this end. <laughs> if you can hear us, we are enjoying you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not a good angle. Look at my turkey jam. Yeah. Now, did, an email, did an email go out to um, everybody who had been here before or expressed interest? A, yes, yeah, a I mail. On your calendar. A physical paper mailing did, yes. Okay, paper mailing. Okay. And then I'm working on, I was waiting for um, Jim Middleton, not really, but, you know, because there's a few websites that we can put things on, but a lot of them, there's, I can't post this whole thing. Uh -huh. So I was wanting to get, have him on that to, um, um, you know, have a, refer to go to the cultural council website to download the form so i that is officially on so actually anybody if anybody knows of a website or a, a group that we want to you know promote and say hey you know check this out please please apply to the show you know send that electronically or refer them to the town website actually i've been valley i would i've been in touch with valley arts um, and I was going to get in touch with um, Bill Westerland's part of that Westfield on weekends. He's mm -hmm. got like a, 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 you know, or even on Facebook, I think Ellen's been putting that on that too. I've been following the Granby Artists Association. By all means, forward I'll, that, I'll forward that, the actual invite, as well as at this point, though, you can just mm -hmm. direct them to our website and it's on there. All right. 
it's yeah, easier I'll, to probably direct them to the website instead of trying to we'll download that whole thing. Okay, I put it up on I had it put up on um, channel 15 today and directing people to the website. To the website, yeah. I also um where else did I put it? Oh, I wrote a short press release to the papers today. Same thing. Directing people to the website because right. it's on the application is now on the website or right. the the instructions right. for the application is here. Yep. Is Cindy back with us? Or we still oh no, she's not. No, I, she's I'm not. Sorry. And I, I tried to FaceTime she didn't answer, so I texted her telling her who I was because okay. she probably didn't answer my number. Okay. But, but we're gonna tentatively do the eleventh at one o'clock mm -hmm. at her house. As long as she's been that was and, for the the jury. See, I have I do have um one deadline and it's April 4th for artwork. See, I, I was saying the sooner the better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, yeah. Oh, Southwoods are always, you know, they're working on their newspaper yep. as well. So for next yep. time. Okay. All right. Well then you know what then I'm, we're gonna go right into that since Ellen has brought us up to are you ready? Yep. Yeah, sure. I, um, I, Ellen is basically, um, you know, as usual, going to do our, um, you know, ad schedule for promotion of the art show. And that's why sometimes it's better to get the jury done, you know, sooner rather than later, because we need to get our our poster child. Uh, okay. Uh, the good news is we're, you know, like $3 more than last year. Total cost. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the only thing that hasn't gone up 85%. No kidding. Well, nobody yeah. reads a paper. Um, the other ones that went up were, uh, was a reminder. And also, Turley went up uh, just a couple dollars. It wasn't much, or uh, actually $10. <laughs> I'd like to take that back. Maybe $20 more than last year. That's it. I don't know. I think you better torture those people and beat them up on color. I mean, you know, on costs. <laughs> okay. Um, Southwoods is a given. Uh, their price is the same as last year, but the insertion will be seventh of April. Oh, okay. So, um, the reminder: um, two insertions into the penis saver, and you can see that uh, each insertion there's almost twenty-seven thousand for the circulation. Mm -hmm. With that, we decided not to do last year, not to do the Westfield News, because they only get twenty five hundred dollars, twenty five hundred circulation per day, and we're going to only have an ad in there one day if we do. So, we left Westfield News off. And um, Agawam reminder, one insertion, and that is twenty three three mm -hmm. circulation. Long middle reminder, almost twenty thousand. Okay. Oh, okay, uh the Republican. Uh same as last year, the price. Um we have three Thursdays, five insertions, three Thursdays, and two Sundays. And you can see to the right what the circulation is for each insertion. Turley, um we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight insertions for three hundred and Fifty dollars, so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And they go to the Wilbur and Hamden Act One reminder or advertiser, I should say, Country mm -hmm. Journal and the Chicopee Rest Register. Okay. So at well, three hundred sixty thousand, you know, for the circulation. So that's uh, not bad that's for this area. Yeah. yeah. And I think we've covered every yeah. kind of little town uh, in Western Mass and some of Northern Connecticut. Exactly. And then if I recall, at um, I don't know if that was, were you going to check with the woman that um, had done the work for the Rotary concerts regarding the Facebook, um, what was her name, Lisa? Yeah. Um, or is that Cindy? Somebody, I, I recall we talked about it, but I don't think we did anything. With, no, for Facebook, we're not going to put any money towards that. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. You know? Not that I'm okay. aware of. I'm having a little problem with the uh, Southwick Cultural Council Facebook. Um, I talked to Pat, and she put me on again as an administrator, and I went to it today, and I couldn't get on again. So mm -hmm. I don't have anything yet put up on okay. the Southwick Cultural Council Facebook okay. page. And Pat is the administrator and doesn't really know how to, by any chance, do no. you know how to run Facebook? Yeah. You're under 30. Yeah. 
<laughs> By a year, I'm almost 30. I'll be 30 this year. <laughs> okay, it still counts. Um, it's a blessing and a curse. Yes. Um, I don't know how to help you. I I, I truly don't. Um, well, I, um, if you can put it up. On can you guys hear me now? Something that, yeah. 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 You know, you just the basic. Oh, okay. Use. Put it on the Southwick Culture Council Facebook so, page. Okay. Uh, um, well, I don't. I would have to be put as an admin too. I can't just. Right. Okay. I don't know. Are you? you do you, we are have you, a bunch of artists that post on our Facebook page, and I don't know if they really have. So if I right. take a picture of this and just go to the page and I can share it, like post it on there, like a comment, essentially put it on right. there like that. I think Pat would have to approve I can it. I can approve anything on the Facebook page. Oh, that's Cindy. Oh, okay. Cindy is the uh, admin that. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, cool. So yeah. I'm going to so, take a picture of this and I'll send it to you. Well, um, okay. <laughs> So can I go back and just confirm March 11th at one o'clock? Yes. Okay, perfect. 11, one o'clock. Okay, got it. Thank you. That's perfect. Yeah, that'll give us plenty of time to get the uh, pictures to. Yeah. Closing. Yeah, and, and Cindy Warner, if you missed it, what we were talking about was, um, you know, the the sooner the better, which is great. You can do the eleventh, um, because we we're just discussing our advertising, and then of course we need to select the um, poster art. So the sooner we can get that done, the better. So that's that's all very good. Okay. Okay. And Cindy Barton is sending Cindy Warner something to get her okie dokie to post on Facebook. So we'll figure that one out. Um, okay. So art show, we've got jury advertising. What about us? Um, I haven't put together a schedule yet, but um, you know, our usual routine is uh, we do set up on Thursday afternoon. Um, just saying, Bruce and Steve, the tall guys, it would be kind of handy if you could do Thursday afternoon and then probably Friday morning for set up. Um, I'll, I'll be available. Okay. Perfect. On Friday. Friday morning. I definitely that's when I'll set up Friday. Okay. You know, I bring Dan with me and he yeah. still so but um but Thursday afternoon you could not we'll see. If okay. I want if I want to get out of work, I'll take a half a day and just that if I it, memory serves me well that it's good to have a few less vertically challenged people. <laughs> um and that Thursday afternoon is kind of, you know prime time people really get yeah. geared up to do that the Friday morning traditionally has been you know people you know dotting the I's crossing the T's fixing their spaces but for the most part most of the artists do check in on that Thursday um, what, what time is when do you do that Thursday um, artists are due to come deliver artwork between three and six Sorry. that means they'll arrive at two <laughs> so be here at one. So be here at one. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I'll make sure that I'm here this year to make sure that last year Dave Sutton did a beautiful job setting up the panels, but they were set up just okay. like, like in a mirror image of what we wanted. So yeah. we'll make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, and then, of course, Friday evening between 5.30 and 7.30 is the Meet the Artist reception. So if we all could be in attendance for that, you know, kind of put that, you know, keep that on your calendar. And, of course, Saturday, Sunday are, are the days, times of the show. Um, we might be a little um, premature in determining who's going to be there when. Um, we don't want to have to have everybody here the whole time you know, on Saturday and Sunday. Kind of, you know, pick your times that would work for you and we'll make sure that there's at least it's good to have at least two to three of us here at all times 
you know, but, you know, we just don't want to have five of us here, you know, between 10 and two, and then nobody between two and four. So, um, you know, what I can do, what I, I'll throw it out there then, I mean, we're, we're here, um, maybe email me or, or um, probably email me because Cindy is going to be away for a while. So email me at the SMK address that you always do of when you know you'll be available and I'll kind of compile a, a chart so that, you know, we don't have all or nothing happening there. Yeah, I'm, well, you're going to be your, I'm, your yeah, yourself. I'll right? be here, but, okay. You know, if need be at some point, yeah. I can break away and cover yeah. for some. All right. And okay, that'd be perfect. Um, and Barb Westcott, speaking of art show, you got, you got it in you? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Well, I mean, Friday is like the big push. Okay. But Saturday, Sunday, whatever's left over. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you going to do that, all that baking? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, God. I bless. bake, I freeze. <laughs> okay. That's and that's I, I that was spectacular. Baking. I started in November, nice. so it's it's very nice. It, it's nice to freeze it and just have it ready. Just yeah, there you go. Yeah. Everything was beautiful last year, Barbara. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, phenomenal was, job. Thank you. It was exquisite. And tasty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Wendy's again. We probably um, if you could send me the wine and beer list. Yeah, um, I'll send you the. Yeah, we'll put Ellen on alcohol. She's good yeah. with that. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, what, is that old it, lady coming in here? And just buying all this she's wine. buying like eight cases of wine. <laughs> um, did we do, we just did desserts. Did we do cheese and crackers last year? I don't remember. I, I think for Friday night. For Friday night, we did like some cheese and, cheeses and crackers. Yeah. And I think we did the Costco treats. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. So probably do that again. I don't think we want to. Years ago, well, you, we were all here when we did the. The buffet. The buffet. <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing that. Everybody dragging food through everything. Oh, well, it was well, a People mess. were coming here for dinner. I That's know. it. It was yeah. fun, but it definitely got out of hand. And, yeah. and it, the thing that amazed me is the first time we didn't do it, it was not a big crowd out there like normal, but we had more people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go figure. And everybody came through and looked at everything. Yeah. We used to do the art show <coughs> reception. We always do the reception on the Friday evening. Mm -hmm. But for years, we would have like, oh, well, let's have the restaurants <laughs> for nice food. So we brought a pizza, a turnaround, we had chicken wings, nice. and my husband would make a ham. Meat oh, we got to be. Yeah. <laughs> it was a big a buffet. It was a dinner. And they weren't, weren't even looking at the other. Uh, mm -hmm. They were hanging out out in the front. Yeah. And so the food's gone, the crowd's gone. Yeah. With kind of, with their four kids, so yeah, it kind of it kind of so interfered <laughs> with the whole concept. Is we have usually about yeah. forty artists. Not all of them come to the show, you know, for the reception. But it was an opportunity for artists to, you know, bring their friends and families to see their display, and yeah. and um, it the buffet kind of Wine overshadowed everything. Yeah. Yes, it did. If you want something to eat, bring it. Right. Bring a subway grinder or something. Right. Um. So right. that. I think the, the without the buffet is so much nicer. It is. It's better. I know we miss it, but yeah. We'll still have coffee, right? We'll have coffee. Yeah. We'll have beer and wine. Mrs. Murphy's donuts on in this. Well, morning. I don't know if we're gonna have if we're gonna have Mrs. Westcott's pastries, Mrs. Murphy's donuts. I don't know. <laughs> oh, she's yeah. out. Mm -hmm. I don't Mrs. Think, Murphy's is out. Uh, okay. Absolutely, compared to Mrs. Westcott, but we don't want to lean on Mrs. Westcott too much. Well, I don't know. I think sometimes people like the early morning donuts. They do. Yeah. So maybe we'll lean on Mrs. Mrs. Murphy and see yeah. if we can. Okay. I can do that. She's usually pretty good about donuts. They are. They're always very good about it. That's about the only cinnamon sugar donut I get. All right. All right. <laughs> Twisted my arm. We have to get Murphy's donuts. No, we don't. We're running that business. I think our daughter is. Just, our daughter is. I think thought. so, yeah. yeah. No, good. Good thought. Uh, oh, her daughter is? No, the daughter is. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So, sorry. Um, all right. So, art show. Um, so, we covered that. We've got advertising. We kind of have a
pretty much a plan. Um, we're going to do, you know, same as last year. Do you guys, do you remember the condition? Do we need to? They were good. They were good? Last year, yeah. Okay. But I'm assuming that we don't need to make a physical assessment of those. No. To, no. Okay. No. Unless they put them away, then. Okay. I know they did. Which panels are you talking about? The, the display the, panels. The hang artwork. Well, I, like so, a other. couple of years ago, we had to replace some panels. Yeah, they got pretty banged up. But yeah, most of that was because we loaned them out to Westfield. They came back banged up. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, I went through and I checked them all last year. Last they, year they, they, they were, they were okay. all good. Okay. And then some lucky winner gets to repaint those signs. <laughs> That would be me, unless anybody else wants to do it. What signs? Those, those sandwich board signs need the dates need to be changed. I I'll, usually do I'll that. paint them. Yeah. You you get the paint, I'll paint them. They're big. Would you have care. you have room to paint them? They, I, you have to take them off site. You can't paint them here unless we no. can paint them here. You know. How about in the garage? Or in a big empty room. Yeah, but you always ask um, Dave Sutton. Oh, that's Dave Sutton. Yeah. yeah. You know what? If you have time, because you've got a, I'll have a time. way better eye than I. You probably always do it out in the garage where we did the. Right. Did the, uh, I'll even do it outside board. as long as it's not. Well, I thought the weather's good. Right. All right. I'll mm -hmm. check into it. But yeah, if you yeah, want to do that. As long as we keep this winter weather going. They, yeah, right. <laughs> they, they need help. They're tired. <laughs> Do you so want to look at them? So you Between two of us, I think we can get it done. People okay. still notice them. So they do. They we, <laughs> they would miss them if we didn't do it. All right. I'll find out for you. Okay. Then. Just get the paint. I got the paint. Well, I got the brushes. Okay. I'll do it. We got signs. We I'll just, do it. We just need a able-bodied, capable volunteer. All right. I will do it. Thank you. Uh, about the um art show, mm -hmm. what about young people's art children's? I yeah, we did not really get a good grip on that. Um, is Cindy still with us? I am. Cindy, do you have any poll at the school with the art teachers? I know we lost track of that through you know dormancy through COVID. I don't know. It'd be nice to have you know the the student art like we had traditionally done. Do you have? time or ability or know anybody there to take that on? I don't really know anyone at okay. the school. <clears throat> I can, I mean, I can get the name of an art teacher from Lily from the high school, but okay. I don't know oh, yeah. how much I'm going to be able to coordinate like any kind of artwork pickup or anything like that. I'm not going to actually be around the whole week of the art show. That's oh. when Lily and I are going to be in Panama. So oh. nice. That's yeah. what, well, we're supposed we were supposed to go to Peru, but they kind of overthrew the government, so that put the kibosh on that. But yeah, yeah. kind of don't want to do that. Well, if there's a a coup going on, could be bad. Yeah, exactly. So, but um, All right. I mean, I'll try to get some. I'll try to get some names from Lily to. To see, okay. I didn't have a lot of success with it last year in trying to even get anybody to call me back. So. I know, I know, and I, I'm, I'm sorry to put you on the spot, but you you have one of those little people that go to the school. <laughs> she's not little. She's not little. Yeah. Yeah. Not little. <laughs> she's not little. She's taller than all of us put together. All right. See what you can come up with, and you know we'll we'll. We'll regroup. Yeah, get in touch with me. Let me know how you do. And um, maybe okay. I think Pat, Pat McMahon at one time had some names, but I I don't want to. She's not here. So yeah, yeah, that'll do. Okay. I, do I don't mind like making oh. up a letter and yeah. sending it like an official letter to the school. Oh, okay. For artwork. Sure. I think an official thing might work better. Okay. That if if you're willing to do that, Barb, but yeah, yeah, that might that might work as well. And then you know, Cindy, if you have a, a name or something to to yeah. add to that list, but um, I think 
you know, Barb might be onto something with that, but maybe just having a sort of, you know, open ended rather than trying to put someone on a specific person on the spot might be better. Maybe, maybe they, best yeah. to send it to the superintendent then. <clears throat> Not just the high school. Well, I, I'll send a CC the superintendent, but send one to each individual so school. Yeah, send it, okay. Yeah. 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 Sure. As she um, said at one time that she would really she really wants the school to be more involved in the community. So okay, that sounds perfect. All right, Barb, go for it. Okay, go for that. All right. Um, we do have um a demonstrator for oh I believe on Saturday. Uh, we don't, I was uh, Pauline Thomas, who is not here. I think she was willing to do a demonstration as well. So I don't want to, same thing. I don't want to put words in her mouth either, um, but probably have her, if she can demonstrate on Sunday. Uh, we have music for Saturday from the grant cycle. And then we will need to hire somebody, you know, from our own resources for Sunday. And I know you guys oh. liked, who is it that you liked? You liked- The one that done up the plan with that. Steve. 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 Okay. Yeah, I don't really know him. Um, I do. Other I'll than ask here. him. Yeah. But Piper. Um, what about- Piper. Piper. What, who's the other young guy that was playing? Vinny. Yeah. Vinny usually puts in a grant. This year he did not. So- um, Sarah Clay put in a grant. She does the harp and um, the jazz. So we approved her for Saturday is the day she'd like to do. You know, she she got back to me when I sent her approval letter. So we've got her covered for that's pretty much the whole for Saturday. The whole time Saturday. Yep. Yep. And then we have open, we need to hire somebody on Sunday. Yeah. So, you know, although Vinny, um, the oh. young kid and Steve sometime do play together. So, so any, maybe I could any combination, any combination? Of, All right. of whatever, you know. Unless anyone had anybody else in mind that you know of. I mean, both of them are they, phenomenal. They've done a good job for us before. Yeah. yeah. Joe Dennis in there too. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have to bake ham, so he can do something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I will look into that. If you're in agreement to check into Steve and Vinny or a combination of them for the Sunday, then okay. All right. Same budget as I believe we were at three, four hundred. I don't remember. Somewhere. Of whatever in that range. Yeah. Okay. Um, if they want more, throw in a dozen eggs. A dozen eggs. Well, that, that's pretty expensive now. I don't know. I mean, we can't <laughs> toss on that. But, um, anything else on art show? Again, I think we got Pauline and uh, Tracy for demonstrating. We got music. Um, oh, Tracy's going to demo. Yeah, yeah. Yep. She was in the um, a grant um, portion. <laughs> I think we're good. Um, anything else on art show that I'm missing? For now, all right. No, I mean, other than the normal stuff, you this usually do stuff flowers, that, some flowers. Yeah, we'll do the, the normal the, stuff. Yeah, we'll do the flowers, the usual stuff, unless you. Um, I think we have pretty much everything covered. I think so. I think so. Cindy's going to bring her baby in and maybe we'll raffle her off. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants a fresh new baby. Or oh, this month? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to see baby at the art show. Maybe. I have to, I have to come back that Monday, the 24th. 24th? Yeah. So. Yeah. We'll probably venture over here. <laughs> that'll, that'll be fun. Yeah. Have you been to our art show? No, I've never been. Did, did, how long have you been in town? Um, well, I, I I grew up in Southwest, but I never really came to the town hall. <laughs> and I I just started in March of last year here, so I didn't I didn't I think I missed. I mean, I I never even knew we had an art show until it was the tenth. Oh. So I never saw it in the paper. Never yeah. had a clue. Never. Yeah. No. Best kept secret. So we, we don't want to keep it a secret. And I used yeah. and I used to read the. Uh, Southwoods, cover to cover, looked at every ad, every time it came out, and I never saw the ad for it. Not even the front cover? 
Never, did, never, never notice never it. Never noticed it was on the front. And then it was the tenth one. It was kind of a little splashy, I think, and that's when I noticed it. Yeah. Of course, that's I was a year and a half into artwork myself. At that point, I didn't. So I think I just never. Right. You know, it just never connected. Well, I'm going to paint the sign to this year. Yes. <laughs> yes. Steve's going to make those signs vivid. Yeah. So how many how many signs go up Three. around the town? Three. Three. So one at the town hall. Where do the other ones go? Gristmill and Big Y. Well, whatever it's called now, but down by Potion State, job lot, that yeah. intersection. And yeah. Gonna, yeah. Do you put them on like the bulletin boards inside of the Big Y? Or do they still have that? No, no they, they, don't they don't do that. And the Big Y, we do get posters. Um, but I don't know if I have one with me. Is it ever on the electronic sign? Yes. Of bank? Yes, it is. Who yeah. runs that? Jim Middleton. Oh. He used to. I don't know. I, I think he still does. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we put it on that. We put it on channel 15, you know, as much as we can. Um, and I've never looked at channel 15 either. Anytime I've tried to find anything, it's not there. I get nothing. Is it still channel 15? I yeah. Don't yeah. Know. Is it if you push one five on your yeah. TV, it comes up? Yeah. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Westfield, I think, is like 12 well, or something. Well, it's like channel 22 is 822. You know, they, they for yeah. channel five of my TV in my room. Yes, yeah, that's it. I don't know. That's what... Channel five is what you're <laughs> Yes. Okay. All right. Moving on here. I'm, I'm digressing. Okay. So, anything else on art show I, I, that I'm missing? We're going to have it. It's going to be April 23rd and 22nd. Oh, and the uh, Suffolk Lions Club is going to be down here on the Sunday doing their antiques appraisal on the same day. So it'll be a busy place. Um, on that. Um, the other thing that um, did not make the agenda is um, we, we kind of did this. And went, oh, here it is. Um, the annual report. And Ellen did send you this. You told me you sent it to her. Did you get this? I think so. That's our annual report. Oh, I did see it when I was going over um, yeah. them for Robin, too. Yeah, and they got it by February 6th. So I don't know why they have that. Hopefully, they didn't get it. She yeah, did Robin it. said she got it, but she must have just forgotten to print that one when I was going through okay. the stack of them. Because she usually is pretty good about saying, hey, yeah. you didn't. Yeah. Oh. The word will, you just said check mark done sent to Robin on the 26th. So you did it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the program. Yeah. And the other thing, uh, fun, fun, fun. Um, we have our budget hearing. We are scheduled for 8 55 a.m. on Saturday, March 25th. March? You get like what, 10 minutes? We get 10 minutes, March 25th. Saturday is upstairs in our, the land use room, which I did find out from um, Cindy just today. This will be our new meeting room forever. We're, we're here. We're never going to go back up to our cozy room. There's three people up there. This is nice down here. Oh, yeah, it's not bad, except that it'd be nice to have our stuff done. Uh, so we'll. So if you just like when I'm back, if you do need anything and you know ahead of time, I can grab it because I'm usually here during the day on Thursdays anyway, so I can grab it, bring it down, and just yeah. leave it on the table. Yeah. Uh, we don't really need our stuff much, but I mean, is it all in one like in one cabinet? It's or? just in there. Yeah. It's also in, in the same, same spot. Same spot. But we are never going to meet up there again. No, we well, I'm just wondering. Can it come down? Here? That's what I'm thinking. Here? If it can come down here, you know. Would make sense. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, no. there could be put them up cabinet. I would think so. Robert's rules. Oh yeah, those mm -hmm. are just because we were on Zoom and Michelle wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page. I think I'm going to pass it to the Rotary Club. Back to you. Oh, for right. the time being. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, pass yeah. it on to the Rotary President. Yep. Rotary Club. Oh, okay. Okay. Robert's rules. Yeah. All right. Um. So anyway, just um, going back to uh, March 25th, 8:55 a.m. Anybody that can come would be good, but um, our budget is the same as last year, I believe, wasn't it? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. we were level funded. It, our, our, yeah, our budget was roughly 2,500, most of which we use, well, all of which we use for the art show. Um, we're going to spend $1,513. We're going to spend um, for entertainment and any other expenses, cheese and crackers. And if Mrs. Westcott needs any expenses for, for treats for Friday night, certainly, you know, there is money there to reimburse you for materials. So that is that pretty much what our budget is used for is the art show. We're going to go back to the budget meeting, uh, March 25th. What March 25th time? at 8.55. They have a schedule that for 10 minutes at 8.55, we are before the police and everything. So, so if, if you do plan to come, get here at like at least 8.45, because sometimes if they are running ahead, they'll put you, they'll in. Put you in. You know, and um, if you get here after the hearing, too bad. You know, they're they're not going to go back. So. Was it one year that we got behind this fire department? Yeah. <laughs> I, remember, I remember one year, <laughs> one of the selectmen said for us to put in for more money. Yeah, I mean we can and mm -hmm. we have. You know. What's that, Cindy? Cindy, we can hear you, but I didn't hear what you said. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm at volleyball practice for my daughter. Oh. So. <laughs> Go team. No trouble. Um, anybody else have any other in discussion that um, we did not go over? I would just like to put something in people's heads just to think about for future things. I think it'd be great to have a contest for sculptures um to put around the town um if we use their sculpture maybe we could give them something you know for reward but it metal sculptures any kind of sculptures wood sculptures like a lot of towns in the area have so much art on display oh we have nothing Those fiberglass Horses, turkeys, pigs, the dogs, cows, the dogs. Well, we, yeah, that's like everybody paints the same image, although you're yeah. thinking maybe more. I, of a, I was thinking something to do with lakes, farmland. I mean, somebody could make a tractor, you know, it, it was like just pieces of art to be put around different areas of the town so that it, it really makes it more art mm -hmm. community minded. That would be, That'd be cool. way cool. Um, there, there is nothing like that around town. And nothing. A, everywhere you go, there is. You know what, Mike? Well, one more thing for you, but I was thinking it may be a good place to dip the toe in the water would be at the art show. You know, if we made up a, a poster or some kind of a, you know, ask the artists that are both exhibiting people that are interested in coming to look at artwork might have some ideas or be interested to know who might be out there in our artist community who would be willing or interested in Having doing an, an outdoor display, display or, or sculpture. Yeah, sure. You'll, you'll have to talk to the selectmen because it's going to have to go on public land and there's going yes. to be liability issues if a sculpture falls over on somebody. So it's going oh. to have to have some kind of permanent placement yes. so that no one gets hurt. So it's a, it's a bigger deal. Okay. That's a good point. I just want people to start thinking about it, maybe looking at other towns as you drive through different towns, see what they have. Yeah. And see what kind of interest would be out there. Yeah. Like I said, I see the, I passed by uh, on Route 20 over in East Granby. They have the two, horses. two turkeys. Horses. Turkeys? So if you go down 187, yeah. to Route 20, take a left, and you go out to where Mark's auto is, that, if you took a left there again. Mm -hmm. All right, so you take a left on the 20, take and then Donald's the next there, light. Yeah. <laughs> the next light is like yeah. an insurance agency. Yeah. Yeah. They have two of the turkeys out there. Yeah. I believe they're both turkeys. I think one has like the uh, Declaration of Independence on it. Maybe. Oh, I will have to take a look. I have not seen that. 
in town. Huh. Here in town. No, no, he's he's grabbing. Oh, yeah. oh, look, I haven't I noticed. The horses. Well, the, horse, the horses, I think, are I the a little I think that's Granby is the horses. Yeah, and I, I think they have them uh, molded and then right. different places buy them. Yeah, right. put them out the business, front. The business so, yeah, but right. this pays for them. Yeah, I think I think uh, individuals also can yeah. yeah. do it. Yeah. 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 Okay. But I've always wanted to do like a six foot tall Moai Easter Island head. So yeah. yeah. That's, well that, that's representative of Southwick, right? <laughs> Block <Blockhead>, you <no. laughs> Uh, big boy, I'm like glad I didn't say that. Um, yeah, I mean that's a cool idea, you know. We could do Southwick Henge. That's not Easter Island, that's Stonehenge. <laughs> I, um, that's almost but... directly through the planet. <laughs> I'm going in another direction. There, there's henges all over the world. Yeah, yeah. I put tobacco leaf out there. We could. Well, we'll ponder on that for <laughs> yeah for upcoming. It wouldn't meetings. necessarily have to be representative. No, no, it, it does not. No, it could just be yeah an an opportunity for an artist that might want to display it for a limited amount of time or permanent installation. A permanent one is is a little tough because kind of would you know it. Sure, it's great for the first 10 years, but then who's going to maintain it? There, yeah. There's other factors yeah. that go into that, you know, if it yeah. isn't a forever piece. I mean, Easter Island, yes, those do last a really long time. So <laughs> you, you probably could get that one. Uh, down in Windsor, they have a guy that does metal sculptures. Yes. And he's, he's got them all over town. And a lot of them were like um, post protesting whatever so they had a this little swamp out there that they were supposed to do something he did a 12 foot tall mosquito oh wow. and overnight it ended up in this on this little island in the middle of the swamp oh and nobody saw the crane or all the heavy equipment that was needed to put it there nobody saw it, anything it just appeared it, it blew just appeared in. and the police couldn't figure it out well, <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, anything else before we adjourn? Any other? I second the motion. Oh, you're seconding a motion. Oh. So Steve Brzezinski made a motion to adjourn. If anybody like second. It, Bruce will second. So at 8.09, the Southwood Cultural Council meeting has adjourned for February 16th, 2023. Yeah. <laughs>